I'm not even shooting my intro yet, but I'm already seeing a ton of activity. Water is pretty clear. I should go grab my polarized glasses so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to go do that and then I'll shoot an intro. I have never seen so many cars at this park before. Completely packed all the way down to the other side. Everybody's supposed to be in lockdown and be inside in, in their quarantine and everything like that, but I've never seen so many people at this park before because that's the one thing people are still allowed to do is go to the park and exercise and get some sunshine. So, I mean, everybody's staying away from each other. There's nobody except for the people that are in quarantine with each other. They're the only people that are close to each other. I'm out here pretty much by myself in this area. There's nobody around me. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of activity here. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to see if I can pull some bass out of this creek. Hopefully I'll be able to find some of the bigger ones that are uh, spawning right now. So, that's what I'm looking for. I'm going to see what, the, I'm really going to see what the biggest bass I can pull out of here today is, but that's the goal every day, so it's not really the point of this video. Uh, but yeah, hopefully I find something, the goal is to pull something out over two pounds. So let's see if I can get something two pounds or heavier. And I will say it's probably been about two years since I've pulled anything out of this creek that's over two pounds. All I'm seeing right now so far are some sunfish. I'm going to run my little runkle swim bait here, see if I can get some kind of attention on that. Now I know there are some big ones that hang out in this stretch right here, but they're really hard to find. And if you can find them, they're hard to get them to bite. So it's hard to get them to bite. <laughs> swim bait I'm throwing might actually be a little too big for here it's a three inch swim bait and as I'm saying it's too big it gets snagged in a tree it just wrapped all the way around that branch a bunch of times and then just okay there we go Whew. but I did lose my tail on it so maybe now I put a smaller one on see what happens let's go with the Clear with silver flake. That always does pretty well for me. There we go. Got him. Little sunfish, little green sunfish. He choked that too. He took the whole thing. Doesn't want to let it go. <laughs> there you go. One fish. The three inch. I mean, at least I know for sure I can catch something on the two inch, even if it's just sunfish. And there's something right there. Even if it's just sunfish, I can catch something for sure on the two inch. He came off. Wasn't quite hooked, but he hit that one as soon as it hit the water. They're hiding up in the roots across the way there. But the three inch might be a little bit too big for some of these small fish. There's another one. They are super aggressive today, more than usual. They're hitting it on the drop. Usually I gotta move it, swim it a little bit before they start hitting it. They're all probably gonna be about the same size and same species here. <laughs> all right i just had a pretty nice green sunfish there it's a pretty good size one but i didn't say anything i don't really like commentating on what i'm doing when i have an audience watching me and there's a couple of people up on the bridge watching me and it just it's just awkward to talk to yourself in front of other people <clears throat> so yeah uh, that was a really really good sized green sunfish oh 
Wow, something swirled on it as it hit the surface. I need to walk down that way. Oh, oh, he's chasing it. He's on it, he's on it, he's on it. Got him. It's a little one, but it's on a, it's a bass. This is not the two pounder I was trying to catch today, but it's probably about the same size as the other one I saw over here. That one was an interesting, I don't think, I don't know if you saw that on camera or not, but he chased it all the way up into the shallows and you can see his back coming up out of the water, following it. Stand here. Fish here for a little while. Is there somebody else here? I don't see anybody around. There's a backpack right here. Okay, well, that looks like it's fresh. It's full of tackle. So, I'm gonna leave it there for a while. I'm, somebody's clearly in this area, so I'm gonna leave it alone for a while, but if it's still there when, I'm le when I leave, I might have to grab it. <laughs> I don't see anybody around. I don't hear anybody moving. So, Maybe they couldn't see it in the grass and they couldn't figure out where they left it. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to give them... I've got more time than I thought I would have by the time I got here. Usually when I get to this spot, I'm already running out of daylight. But I've got about two hours left to fish. So I'm going to give the owner of that backpack two hours to come back and claim it. And then I'm going to take it. Because <laughs> I don't see anybody else out here. I don't hear anybody. My guess is they just forgot where they put it and couldn't see it in the tall grass. But I know exactly where it's at, so. Maybe if I see somebody, I'll let them know where it is, but. It's a nice backpack too, good shape. Who knows how long it's been there. Got one. Oh, he slipped off and that was actually a bass. Of course, of course it was. What else would it be? Sunfish isn't going to slip off. It's got to be a bass. I see something on a bed. Can't tell what it is, but there's a bed. It's a bass. That's a bass on a bed. Two bass right there. There's a bigger one on the outside and then one right on top of it. <clears throat> got it, got it, got it. Not, not the two pounder but that I was looking for him for my goal today, but it's close. It's nice, healthy, solid fish. There's a pair of them there. This is actually the smaller of the two. This one's maybe a pound. The other one's probably a two pounder. But look at that tiny little hook. He's hooked in the lip. Barely hooked. Let's go. He's actually a lot bigger than he looked when he was down in the water there. I can see the other one. The other one's still over there. So see if I can get this out. Man, 
man there we go I actually bent the hook trying to get it out nice not a big fish at all really but for this creek and considering everything I've seen today it's it'll do and look at that she or he right back on top of the bed the other one's over there too that's good I could keep messing with this fish right now and uh, try to catch it a couple more times but I'm satisfied with that now so now I'm gonna go see if that tack that backpack with all the tackle in it's still there and then head home so that was not the biggest bass but you know considering I spent this whole day just fighting sunfish that was a nice one to get at the end so and I've been looking at this bit because I knew there was a bed around here coming up in these shallows I said it earlier but I couldn't I saw the bed but I didn't see any fish and now I can see both of them over there so that was awesome <clears throat> the backpack is still there and Actually, so is the stadium seat. The stadium seat's been here forever. It's actually still in decent shape. Might make a good kayak seat if anybody's interested. So, haven't seen anybody around. Haven't heard anybody. This backpack's in pretty decent shape. It's a nice fluke on top. I'm gonna take it. It's still dry, so it hasn't been there for too long. It was rainy yesterday morning, I think. So it was either sometime. I think it rained this morning and a little bit today too. So we'll find out. But uh, it's still dry, so it was probably just from today. And I really thought somebody would have picked it up because I saw a couple cars pull up over here. Okay, well, so there I only caught the one bass, whole bunch of uh, sunfish. Uh, but that was actually about two weeks ago and I found this backpack there hidden in the tall grass it's a Dell backpack I can describe and show you the outside it's mostly black there's a little bit of blue there's nothing else on the outside uh, there's some very specific things on the inside so if you can get a hold of me go to my Facebook my Instagram whatever's in the description there if you have something, you have some way to get a hold of me. Uh, even my website, you can go to my website and email me. Uh, that Tell me some of the, the bigger items that are in there. Prove to me that it's yours and we'll work out a way to get it back. Now remember, it was almost Creek. You know, if, if you know where that's at, then okay. But I mean, I, I posted it on Facebook about two weeks ago. I posted it again yesterday. And I got some replies, but people were insisting that I found it at like Canyon Lake or uh, Bronig or Calaveras or something like that. And it's like, no, it was at Almost Creek. All you have to do is tell me some of the more specific items that are in there. There are some very specific things in there. So if you know what they are, I know it's yours. So get a hold of me and we'll see if it's yours. If nobody can claim it or anything, like I've already been trying to reach out to people. Nobody's been able to claim it. If nobody, can if nobody can claim it after this video, then in another two weeks or so, I'll probably do a video opening it up. And uh, well, I'm definitely gonna keep some of the stuff that's in there and probably give away some of the other stuff, but I'd hate to see it go to waste. And I don't wanna do that. I wanna get it back to the original owner. But if the owner doesn't come forward and I can't find them, then we're just gonna have to I can't hold it forever so and on top of that uh, I just got a package in from Runkle got a nice new hat with their new logo on it it's a badger eating a trout or I don't know what kind of fish that is it's either a trout or a muskie or something <laughs> it's weird that those two are there they sent me a nice little mesh backpack not a mesh backpack but a drawstring backpack with the logo also on it I'm definitely gonna be using that Let's see some uh, paddle tail uh, run gill shad it's an interesting kind of orangish brownish color which should work here with a paddle tail uh, 
got uh, some power mono, 10 pound power mono, and some 25 pound power braid, which all of these things I'm definitely going to be using. They also sent me a really, really, really nice charcoal gray double XL size hoodie with their logo across the front. Uh, but as soon as I opened that out of the package, my girlfriend took it. So uh, I, I think I've got some pictures of it on Instagram. But uh, yeah, women just love oversized hoodies and can't do anything about that. So anyway, if the backpack's yours, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching. See you next time.